I was walking through the botanical gardens not too long back, and as I placed my hand on the wooden rail that overlooked the goldfish pond, I know those fish have a different name, but they look like giant goldfish to me. As I put my hand along that rail, I realized that what was once rough cut wood with splinters sticking up from everywhere, just like the wood of the rest of the beams, that top rail was as smooth as glass. Like someone had polished it, not a single splinter left. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast, and it strikes me that there's this one process or, or action or activity, it's, it's a noun really, that when introduced into certain cultures becomes a huge, I mean enormous problem. In fact, it becomes such an enormous problem that as a problem, it gets attacked more than anything else. It, it's attacked as a way of saying, well, we have to get rid of this. We have to eliminate it. We, we, have to all, we have to all come together to fight against this one thing because this one thing, it, it causes tension. This one thing, it causes, it causes us to not be in perfect harmony together. This one thing, however, if you eliminate it, that wood would not be smooth. I don't know if you've ever polished wood or polished metal taken rust off of a piece of chrome or taken the blemishes out of a diamond or made something of wood or metal that you want to have a beautiful surface, a shine, even in pottery, it's necessary. This it that I'm talking about is friction. And yes, we, we have developed tools as men, as human beings, as mankind from the days of caveman. We've developed tools specifically for the purpose of creating friction at different levels. Two stones rub together, creating sparks. So that creates fire. It helps when you use a stone as hard as flint rather than sandstone. You crack two pieces of sandstone together and, well, you have a handful of sand. Caliche. We have a handful of gravel, but flint. You mash two pieces of flint stone together and you have Barney Rubble. No, you have fire. Two pieces of flint together, very hard rock. When you scratch them together, you have sparks. You make fire. That requires friction. If you want a piece of wood to be smooth, you start with a very coarse grit of sandpaper and you rub friction. It gets so hot that if you just have that paper against your hand, you'll feel blisters on your fingertips because the friction takes off the rough edges. For diamonds to be made from coal, it takes a lot of pressure and then friction to knock off the outer rough edges to find the stone in the middle. The sand in the clam's belly becomes the pearl only when <clears throat> there's irritation. And friction. And yet so many people want to completely avoid friction. They, they don't want any emotional friction or relational friction or cultural friction. Now, friction, my friends, in the leadership world is what takes off the rough edges. It takes the rough ed edges off of your new team members, your new employees. It takes the rough edges off of you. It allows you the opportunity to participate in these fine-grained relationships. Yeah, there's some rough edges, there's some, some coarse sanding at first, but remember that wood at the rail overlooking the goldfish pond? I believe if you look closely, what you'll find is that most of those rough edges have been worn off by something as gentle and smooth as the skin of your hands, a little bit of oil from your hands, maybe some sunscreen or tanning lotion that you had on your hands, but that's about it. That most people don't stand there with sandpaper to rub that rail. It's the smooth touch over time that creates a little bit of friction that has smoothed that rough piece of wood like a piece of glass. 
as a leader, you have the opportunity to do the same thing with a very gentle touch over a long period of time to create just enough friction to bring about change, to rub off the smooth edges and bring your team to a fine polish. But you cannot do it without friction. I'm Jay Lauren Norris for Leading Leaders Podcast on Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.